Here we are. Another e-bike. Do what? Well, the purpose of all this is to try and find the perfect bike for you and your needs. Now I've got a sore ankle at the moment and it's hard to ride my normal mountain bike. So the other ones of these have been great. So I'll just get out anyway, you know. Not have to worry about my ankle while still getting out. So this is a 750 watt engine motor. Um, so it's not legal on the UK roads. It's only for private roads unless you register it. Um, there's a website where you can register them, go get license, insurance and all that. So it's private use only, remember that. But they say it's really cheap, budget friendly, and it's well equipped, loads of loads of um, equipment on it. I've had a look at the, the brochures, it looks good. Quick as well, really fast. And it's not too heavy going by the box, it's not that heavy. So what we'll do is we'll get it out. Um, do time lapse, time lapse this bit because this is a long winded bit, it takes quite a while to set them up, you've got to do it properly. So we'll do a time lapse and then we'll come back and have a look at it. So there we go. What I didn't realise was it's a quick release front wheel. Just to give you that, I was trying to unscrew the blimmin' bolts. Anyway, this is the extras you get. That's so you get an, uh, a phone carrier, waterproof. Okay, that's a, I'll explain why. That's the charger. That's the battery. keys to release the battery you know it's not to start the bike everybody thinks it's to start the bike up you get a pump pedals reflectors and then you get tool kit there's a handlebars this is the throttle kit but like I say you're not to install these in the UK unless you're registered as a mini moped I think oh, I think that, that needs to go on the bottom that's just like a um, protective guard so you get two Mud guards front and back, a rack with uh, a light, it's a brake light, see, plugs in. So it's a brake light and a, a riding light. You go to 21 speed, that's a 7 speed cassette, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 speed cassette, 21 speed gears, 3 chain rings on the front, 1, 2, 3, blimey, 21 speed. So if your battery runs out on a trip, 21 speed, you can just ride that like a normal bike. It's got a good range. 21 gears would be easy to ride that. Uh, this is the front light. I have to, oh, it's, still, it's still cable tied. That's the front light goes on there. On there. Oh, nice comfy saddle. It's invented. So the riding. As you're right, that's your control panel there. That won't come on, no battery. You've got your lights there, lights on and off. It'll be the horn. There's your gears. So that's for your three rings on the front. This is the seven speed for the back. 21 speed. Brakes feel good. Cable brakes. And cable and hydraulic. It's them type of disc brakes. This is a C port or a USB connector. You connect your phone when it's in that holder. Connect your phone there. Keep your phone charged up. Also, this is an app for this bike. And this connects to the app, so you can. I don't know <laughs> what do you need to do. I'll find out. We'll download the app and we'll, I'll tell you the battery life and the range and that. There you go. Anyway, that's the first look at it. I've got a finished building it. 
and get out. Nice, isn't it? I like it. I like the colour. And the final blue. Actually looks like a proper bike, doesn't it? Until you stick the a bit battery on it. Oh yeah, cable breaks. Good. So here we go. I've put the rack on. Oh. And the, the mud guards now. See, I've looked at other videos, right? And they're all the same. This just looks wrong. Big gap there. I don't know. I don't know, what I, I don't know if that's right or not. Anyway, charge it up. You plug the charger in there. They're always a bit tight. Oh, waterproof on You plug it in there, charge it up so you can have it on the bike or off the bike. If you haven't got the space, just leave it on. This is on off. I like this bit. This is on. <laughs> Tells you. Big finger pointing there. So on the top of the battery here is, let me press that, that tells you how much power you've got, so it's got two green, two green lights, this has got quite a bit of charge in it, and like I say that's the key, you turn that and then you pull the battery off, it's a bit tight, so you lay it down here, put the back, like, um, offer it up down here, and then it just clips in. Looks do really tight, it goes on alright. Welding's quite good. There's a lot of cables. Use the switch on. Got it on the rack at the minute. Press and hold, to get it on. There we go. So you get your on the corner there's your pedal assist. Two, three, four, five, it goes up to. Speed obviously. Um your trip, there's your battery there, it goes down. To get into the menus, the sub menus, you press both of them and it takes you through all the menus. Oh, they're online, them menus, so I don't have them. I've already seen the light on and off. Yeah. And the gears. And this USB, so as long as you've got charge in your battery, you can charge your phone up, keep it fully charged. The rack's on, it's nice and solid. Goes underneath the mud guard. So you just squash it under. There's plenty of clearance under there. That's okay. That's good. It's straight out. Got a kickstand. All bikes have got this these days, they're really handy. So there we go. The features of the duots. C29 I want to say you get the manual with it and you get a nice little toolkit look at this it's got sockets on it and everything screwdriver spanner it's a good toolkit that loads of allen keys all fit these obviously you don't get the bike stand <laughs> I'm gonna put this oh, I'm gonna put this on you put your phone in on the dashboard up here. What on there? Like that. Oh, how's it go? I've never had one in these before, so I can't take that. Let's put it on. That's the fit in there. Good. It's quite a sturdy rack, eh? Yeah. Put the front light on. Nice and bright. I think. Yeah, so. There's the brake light as well. I think it's better. Turn the light off. It's actually quite handy if you're on the road. You can let other road users know that you're braking. I like the finish. Nice matte black finish. Yeah. Oh, the adjustable forks. The front suspension. So you've got the opening lock for off-road and on-road 
and then you've got your tensioner for how springy you want your forks so that just adjusts this this travel nice right so the next time we'll see this bike I'll be out on it gears I'm amazed it's got 21 gears also quite happy about that and with the battery on it isn't that heavy even with that battery on it's it's lighter than the rest of them All right. so we'll come back when we're out on it in a few miles see how it performs Right, well we're out on the bike. It's very windy, so I don't know about the wind noise. I might just do a, a cut here, edit here, do some riding. So I'm on pedal assist three. I haven't got any throttle. This is connected to Bluetooth. I'll show you that later. That's that's good, shows your battery percentage. Uh, if, if you've got the throttle on it, shows your cruise control, all the rest of it. There's, there's a load of features on it. But what we're going to do is just ride along here at our leisure and see how nice and smooth it is. We're trying to do as many miles as I can on a full charge. I've got 60% battery and I've done 17 miles so far and 40%. But that's been a lot of that's been pedal assist. Some of the weekend. Right, so let's go. Let's watch all the obstacles on this road. Put some music on. Some jolly music. about uh, another five mile there battery power has never changed loads of people on that track the wind's got me ruined let's have a good look at it have a good look around it's a nice looking bike looks like a proper mountain bike I like the black and blue finish as well Right, we're gonna go and test its off-road capabilities. This could be good. can go where mountain bikes can go. Good suspension on the front. Don't bump into rocks. Just going over this, no bother. My bad riding this. Oh, the other place is a bit narrow. Staircase, no problem. Knee bother.
a set of stairs here, right? We're gonna carry it downstairs, see how heavy it is. It's easy enough. There's no way I would've got that big, heavy bike down there. kicks in as you take off and I'm off quite a high gear thistles there we go we're off Doodle -dee -dee -dee. bit of the rough stuff and tough. <laughs> Here we go. back battery level have killed it I'm doing about 25 miles on a full battery but that was a lot of pedal assist mostly pedal assist that's what I was trying to do kill the battery um, I was around Kilo the other day as well on it 25 mile all on the pedal assist level level 5 mostly so this is the app <coughs> excuse me so it tells you there you battery level tells you your speed when you're riding I mean that's this is the bit that you have in the, um, the battery holder on the bike you can change the level there you can have you set your units there miles to kilometers see what right time Cruise control, start, you know, all that sort of thing. I like it. I really like it. There's a mountain bike. That's a nice comfy saddle. For my personal needs, this come, needs to come back a little bit back here. I'm going to do that. The forks, the suspension's great on the front. Lots of travel there. Gear's good. With the battery dying on us, I had to pedal back some of the way and, uh, the fact that it's 21 speed made it a lot easier. It's light, you know what I mean? It's not a heavy bike. It's only just slightly light, uh, heavier than a normal mountain bike, really, with the battery. But the rest of it is fine. It's all, it's like a mountain bike frame. 
It's like the same shape as my boarding frame. Yeah, I'm impressed with it. Very impressed. Duots C29. I'll definitely be using this again. Definitely.